All right. Got a good time here, everybody. I'm Greg Pierce with the Fret Buzz. We're here at the Buzz today. Um, jump right in, folks. We're going to make some good things happen with our left and right hands. Coordination, everybody. Combining slurring and picking into one into one exercise, well, which will hopefully end up being part of your uh, part of your improvisational process, um, part of your compositional process. Let's get down, shall we? So fifth fret, all y'all. Um, we're gonna start with A. Um, this is taken from uh, the Torrega exercises um, for classic guitar. Classic, not classical. Classical defines a period of music, doesn't it not? Anyway, left hand. We're gonna start off with, uh, with A. Pick the A, hammer to B flat, pull off to A. Right, leaving the index finger in place. That's really important. This isn't gonna work out if you do. I mean, I guess it can, but it sounds kind of choppy and sloppy. Does it not? So we play A, B flat, A. Now hold both fingers down on A and B flat, right? That's our anchor. And we're gonna hammer to B from B flat. Then hold three fingers, right? And we'll hammer with the pinky. So the whole exercise across all six strings will end up looking like this. Coming back down, you ask? A couple different possibilities. We can start with the with the fourth finger note um, and pull off. I think what we'll do is start with the third finger, right? All three fingers are pressed, but we're hearing this note. And we're gonna pick, right? And now pick the B flat, hammer to B. And now pick the A and hammer to B flat. Ah. Let's try that again slowly, shall we? Let's do this. One and uh, two and uh. Our next exercise requires knowledge of the major and minor scale. You guys, um, if, you, if you're not totally familiar with those yet, go back to those lessons that are in the scales uh, course here at the Buzz. Um, you'll enjoy it. It's very, um, uh, it's very effervescent. <laughs> it's very bubbly. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the three finger version of, let's say, uh, G major from the, from the sixth string. <laughs> Okay, um, now we're gonna play this in ascending thirds, okay? That means that every note of the scale is gonna be treated like a three note pattern, ascending, right? Uh, aside from that, some other performance tips for practicing this exercise um, is to accent um, a specific note that's predetermined before you play. So typically with, with triplets, you accent the first note. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, right? Um, so we'll do it that way to start off with. So again, the scale a bit slower. So now if I take all those notes and treat each one like it's the beginning of a three note pattern, I have this within the key of G, one sharp. 
Hello, Bastard Hound. Feeling all right? It's Christmas Eve, you know. Okay, uh, G A B. Now A B C. Oh, we go to the second note of the scale and treat it like it's the beginning of a new three note pattern, but within the key. Don't want to step outside the key yet. B C D. C D E. D E F sharp. E F sharp G. And there's octave one. And then we'll do the same thing in the second octave. Together with me, one and uh, two and. Uh... Little well, improvisational thing at the end there. What did I do? You ask. E F sharp G sharp. Sorry, E F sharp G. F sharp G A for the ninth note of the scale, right? A is the nine or the two, and then we go root two three, G A B, and then back to the root note G. Oh, these chords! I'm telling you, these chords are so gorgeous. Excellent. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Uh, practice hard. Uh, questions or comments, leave, uh, leave a note below. We'll all talk about it and uh, make each other better players. Uh, enjoy your day. Be kind to one another.